Well, happy New Year, boys and girls. It's your favorite uncle here, Uncle Mud. Can't come back at y'all with a video, the first one, in 2023. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, Uncle Mud Cat, how are you going to kick off the New Year with this video we're doing right here? Well, I'm glad you asked. Well, Uncle Mud Cat's going to be going over Dr. Squash. Well, you can't really tell it's Dr. Squash, but here, let me help you out there. Bam! We're going to be going over the pros and cons. We're just going to be talking about Dr. Squash in general. Now, if you don't know, it's a company. And they do, like, you know, the bar soaps, the, the different styles, the different kinds of smells. And they got a deodorant. And they also, I believe, got a body wash. And I believe, like, shampoo and conditioner. Don't quote me on it. But let's go over the pros and cons. Let's start off with the cons of uh, Dr. Squash. They are on the pricey side. Without a shout of doubt, they are pricey. I know in my neck of the woods, when I go to Walmart, I can get a, a bar of, uh, the, I think it's called Pine, for like three bucks. I've been to other places, and they charge you like six bucks. So I'm, you know, I usually go with the, you know, Pine Tar, and it's usually, like I said, three bucks, and I grab two of them. And for things like this, you know, like the little limited edition one, I know they probably ain't got this out anymore, but I do love this and it smells great. But, you know, stuff like this, you know, the limited edition ones or stuff like this, it's like six bucks, seven bucks. And that's just, you know, too much, in my opinion, to charge for a bar of soap. And the prices get even more ridiculous when they when you go on their website like for real that's the number one con about this company is their prices is just ridiculously high i mean i'm pretty sure you can grab a big thing of uh iris spring or you know a big bottle of you know axe body wash for like the same price for just this one bar of soap here that's the con i see the second con I've noticed while, because I've been using this product for a while now. I've been using the pine tar, and I've also been using, uh, you know, a little frosty peppermint one, which I love, by the way. Is It seems to me like it doesn't last as long. And you'll know when you're about to have to get another bar. It's because it starts to shrink and break apart easily like it doesn't last at long at all it's like maybe i guess between anywhere from three to five days six if you're lucky maybe even less than that and like i said when you're using it i just take the bar of soap and i just you know rub it on my body you know what i'm saying It, and another con is, I'll go ahead and mention it now, it doesn't lather well like on a uh, rag or a sponge. So it's better to just do it by hand. But that's the cons I see, is it doesn't last long. It's too pricey. Can't remember the other part I said about it, but oh yeah, the sponge and the rag, it doesn't go good. Now let's go over the good things about this product. Because I've tried different varieties of them. I've also tried uh, Dark Vader, and I'm on like Dark Mule now. No, let me <laughs> let me rephrase that. I tried a Dark Mule. I don't even know if I'm even pronouncing that word right. I'm not really of a Star Wars fan, as you can tell. And I did uh, Dark Vader, and I'm on... Uh, Luke, I think it's Luke Skywalker one, and it's just the hand soap version, but I use it for body wash. It smells great. That, I will say, their scents, some of them smell greater than the other ones, you know, like Yoda. This is the locust leaf, or lotus leaf, and it smells amazing. You also got the, uh, the citrus, citrus. It smells good. But the Yoda one smells a lot better. This is the guy I was talking about. I said it was Dark Mule. I could be wrong. Because, again, I'm not a Star Wars fan. And this is called uh, 
black sand. I mean, it has very little scent to it, but it still smells decent. It smells all right. But one thing I forgot to mention is uh, they do have different styles of their soap. Like this is the heavy grit. Y'all probably can't see that that well, but they got a hairy, a hairy grit. What in the world? It is starting to squash, you know what I'm saying? So, and this one has, you know, like zero grit, uh, zero grit, zero grit. Now the the frosty peppermint. Oh my goodness, smells almost identical to a candy cane or any kind of peppermint, you know, candy. Smells amazing. I love bathing with this stuff. Oh man, it feels good. Feels amazing. But in my opinion, I like the zero grit because if you get like the hard grit or heavy grit, I should say, you can feel whatever like spike. Whatever ingredients they use for it, you can kind of somewhat feel it. But you can always ignore it. I mean, I like the products. I haven't tried the deodorant or the body wash or the like shampoo conditioner deal. I ain't gonna mess with that. Because again, it's too pricey. The only things I do get is like, like I said, the pine tar which is like three dollars and i can buy two these you know i just had the money and i'm like i'm gonna go for it you know just gonna try it out but my favorite one is this one i'm sorry this this is just my favorite one out of every one of them because i love the way it smells it smells amazing another thing they could have done was have the scent so strong to where it's like on your body you know how you know how it is when you take like for example, Axe Body Spray and you spray it, you can smell it for a good while on you. And that's how I like for my bars of soap to be when I apply it on my skin is have that strong potency on my skin. Like when you're washing with it, you know, you can smell it while you're in a hot shower and it's amazing. But when you step out of the shower and you go, it's like it slowly fades out. And I don't like that. That's another con I have to it. But it lathers on your skin pretty good. You know, it goes good when I'm washing my face and my beard. It's probably not meant for beards, but hey, you know, it's a part of my face. So face wash, hello. But yeah, but other than that, y'all, it's a great product. It just doesn't last long and it's too daggum pricey. Unless you can find, like I said, a Walmart or somewhere that sells it that you can get it three bucks for the uh, pine tar. Everything else is like, Tax and all, you're looking at anywhere from six, seven dollars. All right, when you go to get it. But I think it's a great product. I think they should just cut down their prices. If you want to keep a business, you know, making it reasonable. I feel like, you know, if you're going to sell me a product that's six dollars, seven dollars for just a bar of soap, I rather spend it on the body wash that comes in like 32 ounces, fluid ounces. That'll be a reasonable price. Because that's the same price as, you know, your Irish Spring or your X, you know, body wash that comes in the 32 ounce bottle with the pump. And the same thing goes for, you know, your deodorant. That If you look on their website, their deodorant is like that tall. Even in the stores, that tall. Their body wash or shampoo and conditioner, that tall. Who wants to pay seven bucks for something that tall? You know what I mean? But other than that, I think it, it's a great product. It's just too pricey. It doesn't lather up on a sponge or rag that good. And it doesn't last as long. I mean, five days, six days, I guess it's reasonable. But again, this is all based off my opinion. Till next time, boys and girls, this has been Uncle Mud Cat. Happy New Year, folks. Be safe and careful out there. Let me know in the comments down below if you tried this, and let me know your thoughts and opinion on it. I guess I'm out of here, y'all. Y'all take it easy.